Ett riktigt kultband här idag, The Magic Band. De spelade med Captain Bifart, om ni minns honom. Ni, ni som var igång på 70-talet gör säkert det. Han var ju något originell och han inspirerade också Frank Zappa. Ja. De två var kompisar. Ja, Captain Bifart har dragit sig tillbaka nu. Mm, han men... pysslar med måleri, sägs det. Det är ingen som riktigt vet vad han gör. De tror, men... Man tror att han bor i Kalifornien och pysslar med måleri. Ja, men hans musiker är här och det är kul att presentera. John Drumbo French, welcome. And Mark, Thank you. Rocket Morton Baston. Yeah, that's right. From both of you. Good to be here. How do you yeah. like Sweden? I love Sweden. We haven't seen much of it yet because we're sort of still <laughs> jet lagged and we were brought here and tortured. <laughs> <laughs> we have awakened at 3.40 in the morning and, uh, you know, so. We it's, actually, it's old news for us. We actually don't know. Are we in Sweden? <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sweden. okay. Have you been here before? Uh, yes, uh, but it's been 31 years. Mm. Yes. Okay. Tell us about the reunion. Why are you? Uh, we well, come back together. Yeah, I, uh, uh, the, the band originally had Don Van Fleet as the leader singer. And I want to get the band together again to do instrumental versions because I think the music's really important. It's very different. I've never heard anything else like it. In all these years, I still haven't heard anything like it. And so uh, I called Mark up, and uh, he was interested and called others. And we finally got a, a guy named Barry Hogan uh, who handles, uh, promotes all tomorrow's parties in the United Kingdom. And he said that he would like to do some concerts. So I said, great. And we got Denny Wally on guitar. Feelers we Rebo is his stage name. And also Gary Lucas, whose stage name is Mantis. Yeah, let's Gary talk about the, the strange Lucas. nicknames. Yeah, and just try to translate names. to some okay. quickly. Okay, why don't you tell uh, about that? kom hit till, uh, till Sverige för första gången på 31 år. Mm. De har inte sett så mycket än. De tycker att de blir lite torterade här på nyhetsmorgon för att de var uppe så tidigt. <laughs> <laughs> och så är det ju här när vi jobbar och spelar eh, live och de kände att de ville komma tillbaka tillsammans för att det är en musik de spelar som de inte hört någon annanstans, säger mm. John. Trots att Captain Bifart då har dragit sig tillbaka. Yeah. Och nu ska vi prata lite om deras speciella scennamn eller smeknamn mm. eller vad man ska säga. How, how did you get these uh, nicknames or stage names? Or... Well, we all decided we wanted a, another name for stage. You know, it seemed like the hip thing to do and we were all into being hip. <laughs> is it still is, is it still a hip thing to do, or or was it back yeah. then? Yeah. Hey, well, I don't know what you think. I, I don't think the word hip is even hip anymore. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Well, see, at that time we were all terminally hip. You know, we were yeah. so into being hip, we didn't didn't know what else to do. You know. Well, Don had a stage name. His stage name was Captain Beefheart, so yeah. we wanted a stage name. So yeah. We w didn't want to be left out. And this uh, Rocket Morton. Why why did you choose that? I uh, just it just came out. At one point, well, we were trying to decide on names. We all sit down. Made a big list of names that, and I scrolled down, and I just that one just seemed to fit me. He <laughs> loves space. Yeah. I'm a space cadet. Vi pratar om de här smeknamnen som de har. Mark kallas för Rocket Morton, alltså Rocket Morton. Det är för att han är en trekkie. Han gillar Star Trek, så ni kan se på på kapsen här på raketen där uppe. Så det var därför calls. Rymdnamnet passade bra. Yeah. And what about Drumbo? Drumbo just came to Don one day. He and he was always great with coming up with titles. Now, Don was Captain Beefheart. Yeah, he was always great with coming up with uh, new ideas lyrically. So Drumbo seemed like a great idea to me. And it was sort of a play on Ringo. Yeah. <laughs> and it fit him. It was Don, the singer, Captain Beefheart, who hit it on the name Drumbo. And it was good. It was like Ringo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now you're in Sweden. You got this tour. Do you have any new music, or do you just you play the old, the we old play, stuff for the old, the, stuff, uh, the yeah. old audience or the new audience? Um, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of new faces out there. A lot of younger yeah. faces. Yeah. A lot so of old fans are bringing their their kids, their kids and yeah. grandkids. So. The next generation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next two generations. Yeah. Just like Star Trek. Yeah. And, and, they, so, and they love it. Yeah. yeah. And you now we play. <laughs> Tell us about the, the tour. Uh, well, we're just doing two dates here. We're doing Umea. Umea Did I say yeah. it? Yeah. Umea? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Up north. Yeah. On the 19th, and we're also playing at uh, Club Fashing right here in the beautiful town of Stockholm on the 20th. So all I can That's say is we've come a long way. Yeah. We've come across <laughs> oceans. And you better we've come, come a long way. Now is your chance. Old fans, Because new fans. If, you, if you don't come to these concerts, you're going to wake up in the morning facing yourself in the mirror and say, I had a chance to see the magic band and I missed it. Can you live with that? Om ni inte har förstått budskapet så handlar det om att gå på The Magic Bands spelningar i Umeå och sidan 19th. 
the 20th in Umeå. The 19th in Umeå. And then the 20th in Umeå. Och så tog fashing här i Stockholm den 20 och ni fick ju en rejäl uppmaning. Missa inte The Magic Band när de nu är i Sverige. Thanks very much, guys. Thank you for having us here. Appreciate it. Vi ska höra mer av The Magic Band senare den här morgonen. Ja.